Thursday, 7.30am. Sam has had his morning coffee and stopped the kids squabbling. He heads over to the hospital where he works as a consultant anaesthetist. Today Sam is assigned to Theatre 3. From 8 to 8.30 he meets with patients on his list after first reviewing their records. The surgeon and nursing staff are seeing the same patients. When patient records were on paper, sharing them around was a bit of a nightmare. But because Worcestershire Acute Hospitals Trust has digitised its patient records, Sam can look at any patient's notes on his iPad whenever he needs to, wherever he is. So he can spend more time talking to patients instead of tracking down notes. Plus, it's now much easier to find the exact part of the record he needs. Sam is in and out of theatre all day. For each procedure, he completes a detailed anaesthetics chart. This is still done on paper because the trust is digitising in phases. When patients are discharged, their completed forms are sent to the on-site Xerox scan centre. 24 hours later, or within two hours if urgently needed, the scan notes are available through the trust's electronic medical record system. As Sam is grabbing lunch between operations, a gynaecologist spots him. She wants his advice on an epileptic patient she saw this morning and also needs to confer with the patient's neurologist. Before digitization, this consultation would have taken a week or more with the physical notes passing between the three doctors. In any phone conversation, only one of them would have had the notes to hand, the others relying on memory. Today, it takes minutes. When his theatre schedule is complete, Sam heads home. He's still on call and at 8 p.m. is contacted by a junior doctor facing an emergency. Tonight, Sam must decide what to do next based on a verbal description given under pressure. But after the next system upgrade, he'll have direct access to patient records at home, an impossibility before digitization. Today and tomorrow, electronic records are transforming Sam's responsiveness, efficiency, and the quality of care he can offer. The same is true for the other doctors, nurses, and medical secretaries seeing 2,000 patients every day at the Trust's three hospitals.